Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today on the agenda, we are going to be doing this no makeup makeup look because it's been a trend that's going on for a while. This isn't original. First, I do have to say that I am one of those people now I've entered the realm of having clearer skin. I know there's a lot of people out there who cannot achieve the no makeup look because of their blemishes on their face. It is really hard to keep perfect skin so i'm not here saying that i was born with perfect skin and i will die with perfect skin i don't even think i have perfect skin i think that the camera is a lie so for those who do struggle with acne or any kind of skin discoloration you might want to add a little bit more concealer to this i guess there is ways to cover it up depending on the amount of blemishes you have so i'm really sorry if you cannot do this look because of your skin routine, you might want to check out my Accutane video because that has a lot more coverage than this one and it's still pretty dewy and natural looking even though I have makeup, a lot of makeup on. So with that being said, I just wanted to put that out there. First thing I want to say is sunscreen is very important for your skin. You want to be able to put it on before you go out during the day regardless of if it looks like it's sunny or not outside. The sun is up, the sun rays are up against you. I didn't show the sunscreen I use for my Accutane video when I prep my skin. If you want like a skin prep routine, let me know. I'd be happy to do so. And the sunscreen I am currently using is the Sunbum 50 SPF and it is lightweight, oil-free, fragrance-free, breakout-free, dermatologist-tested, which basically means nothing gluten-free and vegan. So I'm just gonna prep my face by doing that. I do have like a skincare routine I do before, but this is the first step to achieving like the no makeup makeup look. If you're not putting on sunscreen makeup products, you want to make sure you're putting on sunscreen nonetheless. After I put on my sunscreen, I like to let that dry and really soak in and set into my skin. So while I do that, I like to start with my eyebrows and my eyes. I know a lot of people like to do their face makeup before they do their eyes, but since this is very virtually no makeup, you can get away with doing your eyes first. So I really like this Benefit Brow 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel for your eyebrows. I'm not going to be applying anything on my brows in terms of makeup products because I already have pretty thick brows. So if you do not have thick brows or you have a little bit of sparse sparsity, sparsity is that a word? Sparseness in your brows. You you can use this uh, any kind of brow pencil. I'm just not going to do that because if you really want to pull off the no makeup makeup look, don't do your brows. <laughs> now I did uh, spend a lot of time growing out my eyebrows. If you looked in the last video, they were a lot thinner there. They looked really nicely shaped to apply makeup, but they weren't that thick. So I just let them grow out <clears throat> more. Sorry. Wow, my voice. So the next thing I like to do is I'll crimp my eyelashes really lightly. I won't push too hard on them to break them. But this is a really good key if you're trying to do the no makeup makeup look. I'm going to go in with this Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. I really like it because it's cheap and I feel like it doesn't crumble. I'm just going to go ahead and lightly apply mascara so lightly that it doesn't really look like I'm wearing any, um, but it does make my eyelashes look like they're existent, just like that. I don't know if you can really tell the difference too much, but it's just very light application. So I put it on the top. You can put it on the bottom. It's just really hard to make it look very natural, so I'm just going to slightly just touch them. Now that I'm done with that, my sunscreen has sort of set in. I'm going to do the face. Of course, the first thing you want to start off with is cream products. I do have under eye circles, if you can't tell. So I like to go in with this NYX Dark Circle uh, Concealer Corrector. I'm in the shade Medium. Looks like this. And it's very orangey, but what it's going to do is cancel out the purple underneath my eyes. It's really important that if you're trying to conceal dark circles, you use an orange base concealer at first because if you throw on just like a highlighting concealer without doing this step, it's actually going to make your eyes look, I think that it makes it look a little bluer or grayer. 
like how amazing does that already look now that I covered it up and of course it's orange so we're gonna go ahead and cancel it out with a brighter color next we're gonna go in with the concealer I still use this Chanel concealer I'm in the color 20 beige when I run out I don't even repurchase it sometimes because I hate having to pay for this um, I, re I actually only repurchased this when I was going to my brother's wedding and I needed good makeup. Well, I was actually in it. To keep this really natural, I'm only going to touch mini blemishes on my face. My skin is really dry too, so that's really fun for me. I'll maybe do like right here since, you know, we all got that mustache rocking for us. I have really nowhere else. I'm just going to let everything else and imperfections peek through. What I'm going to do is lightly tap it all in with a beauty blender. And I'll kind of bring it down onto my cheeks so it blends more seamlessly. Because nothing's worse than thinking it looks good, taking photos, and there's only concealer under your eyes. You look kind of scary. I will tap the excess residue on my nose. And then to get more of the creasing underneath my eyes and the fine lines, I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush right here. It's a Sephora brush, Press Full Coverage Precision 67 brush. I think it's really great. It has a very hard end, so it's good for tapping in that concealer, especially if the beauty blender is just not cutting it. So I know with the no makeup makeup look, you want to be using more cream-based products, but I want to set this in because I think it's important to make sure it lasts. I'm going to take this flat Morphe brush right here. Mm. I think it's pretty good. Hey! <laughs> My dog's not happy with me right now. I'm going to take this flat Morphe brush and then... Yo, chill! You good? I'm going to be taking my Velvetizer powder. I still use this. I think it's bomb. I repurchased it recently too because I hadn't been using it for a while. And I went back to it. Then I'm just going to lightly pat some of the areas that I touched. Making sure, I mean, honestly, the most important part is my eyes. So I want to just get that. This part's really important to me. I'm going to be spraying the... Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray from Too Faced. Too, too Faced? I cannot speak. I'm just going to be spraying it to keep in the moisture, keep it looking dewy and no makeup, makeup fresh. So here we go. And I just use, I use a card to fan it out. I left my fan at my brother's house. This is what my skin looks like. Obviously, it looks better on the camera than in real life, so don't be fooled. I feel like this camera is giving me a filter. <laughs> well, after that important step, I'm going to go ahead and take this highlighter. It's a very natural highlighter. It's the Milk Makeup Highlighter. It, that's all it says. I'm going to warm it up right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and just apply it on my cheekbones. Don't go too high. Make sure you're actually following where your cheekbone is. That's how you want to keep it natural. I don't know if you can really tell the shine. It's very natural. It's not the type of highlighter that's in your face. Everyone's going to see it. Now you want to get up on your brow arch like this. Now you also have highlight right here. When your face hits the sun, it naturally gets it at the brow ridge. Apply a little on my chin. A little bit on my nose, right here, and right here. I want to get the inside corners of my eye to brighten them because you know they look dead. But it's looking pretty shiny. I hope you guys can tell a little bit. It's a very, very natural highlighter. Right there. So that's what it looks like on my face when I have it on. You can go ahead and add this posy tint to your cheeks and your lips. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I just apply a little like this. A little goes a long way with this product because now already my lips look tinted. Look at that.
So this is the amount of blush I'm going to put on. I don't think I'm going to put on any more because I don't want to go too crazy. But this stuff is Posy Tint by Benefit Cosmetics. Then I'm going to go in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. This is a bronzer. It is a powder. Lightly tap that in. Really only using it sparingly but effectively is the best way I can put it because you want your face to look like it was slightly sun-kissed. Um, that's how I apply nose contour on my nose. Not very effective. I like to apply a little on my cheeks because I like to raise up my cheekbones. I'm going to apply some on my neck and behind my ear. And I'm going to get my ears as well. And I'll go ahead and reapply this hangover stuff just to keep it dewy. This is my last and my favorite step. I impulse bought this, but I really like it. It is the Fresh Sugar Peach Hydrating Lip Balm in the flavor peach. <laughs> Just really nice lip balm that kind of looks like lip gloss. A little muted, not as glossy. But I'll go ahead and put that all over my lips. And that's really why... Hey, stop licking yourself. This is really why I think this lip gloss, lip balm is perfect for the no makeup makeup look because it's not as glossy as a lip gloss. It won't make you look like you put on that little extra thing. But it does keep that very natural, hydrated, healthy, glowy lip look. So this is my skin. As you can see, I still have, um, you know, imperfections or things showing through like my moles. My eyebrows are sparse and nothing's really um too obvious that i have a ton of makeup on which is why i think this makeup looks really great for those who want to try it out and who can do the no makeup makeup look i honestly can't say i was able to do this a couple years ago when i had severe acne so it's been a huge blessing to be able to be very minimalist minimalistic in my makeup routine i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys outside so you can see what it looks like outside as well I hope you guys are able to tell that it's very dewy, minimalistic, no makeup, and that's the trend nowadays. It's pretty fun. Hi guys, future Rachel here. Um, I decided to quickly film this because I forgot to film an outro to this video, and I'm really sorry about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful to at least some people. Sorry if it wasn't, but... I have nothing to say. You watched it. I'm also going to put up some pictures right here of some photos I took of that day for my makeup. Here they are. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.